Amplify Science, Plate Motion, Chapter 2, Lesson 2.7, Exploring Iceland's Plate Boundary. Uh, before we begin, I want you to know that this is the first unit in which we've run into the first lesson that will separate you into groups based on your critical juncture performance. So this is something new, so you'll be preparing to move into one of three groups here soon. So as all lessons, they begin with the warm-up. And once you're introduced to Iceland and asked about your knowledge of Iceland, you're going to want to hand that in. Then when we get to the teacher step, this is where there are five videos that you will watch. Um, if it's not available to you in your lesson brief like it is mine, you can also go onto Google Classroom, Lesson 2.7, click on that links folder, and those videos will be in there. Uh, once we watch the videos, we move on to the modeling tool. And this is where at the top of the screen you will be placed in either the blue group, the green group, or the purple group. Now you don't have the selection like you see on my screen because I'm the teacher and I need to be able to navigate to the different groups. But uh, you'll have similar tasks in these steps, only you'll be given different information based on what you need to fill in the gaps that you didn't have on the assessment. Uh, it is multiple steps, so make sure you save and continue with your group. Uh, you will be placed, all blue group people will be sitting together at the tables, uh, middle green group and, and um, east side purple group, so you can all work together. Uh, then we return to the teacher step, but basically it just explains to you once again that you'll be doing homework based on your group, so it won't be identical for everyone. When we get to step three, the final step, uh, depending on your group again, you'll be asked to critique boundaries with different bits of information uh, and respond accordingly. So these are multiple step steps. Make sure you follow along. I can't give you exact number because it depends on the group that you're in. And then, of course, step four is the self-assessment uh, that you should do to see how you're doing now that you're at the end of chapter two.